Hey, what's up? This is Ape Escape here. When we think about tech wear, we think acronym, pockets, straps, zippers, tech ninja kind of stuff, but that's really only one side of the tech wear spectrum. And on the opposite side, we have the more subtle and less well-known gray man or gray man aesthetic. So for this video, we're gonna take a look at what a gray man is, how this style differs to the typical tech ninja kind of stuff, and some specific brands and pieces which fit this kind of look. The term gray man is not so much a fashion term as a military one, and it refers to someone who effectively has has the ability to hide in plain sight. Someone who might look like an ordinary civilian, someone that you wouldn't look twice at, but in fact is hiding or concealing some kind of equipment or training or performance that other people don't know about or aren't able to recognize. Admittedly, this military definition takes things a little bit too far for our purposes. A lot of that stuff is behavioral, things like walking in the correct direction in crowds and avoiding eye contact and keeping important documents on you on encrypted USB drives. By all means, do all that stuff if you want, but our interest in the gray man aesthetic lies, of course, in the clothing that someone like that might choose to wear. And for that, you'll see the spirit and the ethos of the gray man, someone who fades into the background, doesn't draw attention to themselves, is very much in place. So what kind of clothing are we looking at here? Well, first of all, forget everything about military or tactical gear. Pockets, zips, straps in excess, all of those you can get rid of. We're gonna be looking at things that are a lot more low key, that are a lot more inconspicuous. Of course, we're looking for the same basic functions, water resistance, breathability, flexibility, carrying capacity as well, but in a package which is much less likely to attract attention. We also reject things like brand logos or other kinds of identifiable markers because again, they are a means of identifying people and a way of drawing attention to them. So those kinds of things are going, but we also have to adjust the way that this clothing fits. If you look at a lot of standard tech wear outfits, often oversized things, heavy tapers, lots of layering, all of those things are very common. But we really have to reject those ideas for becoming the gray man. Instead, we're looking at very straight cuts and slim ones as well, but of course, nothing that's too fitted or too tight. The result is something that looks very clean and a little bit smarter than standard tech wear as well, because uh, tech wear is worn often in the context of urban performance and in cities. And of course, in those environments, a lot of people are commuters, workers, and they're likely to be dressed a little bit smarter. Color is also a very important thing here. It goes without saying that very bright, vibrant neon colors are not gonna be very appropriate because they're gonna draw attention to yourself. So you can put the high vis away for this one. You might assume because of the term gray man that we have to dress entirely in gray, but that's not the case here. Of course, gray is gonna be a very suitable color here, but all kinds of neutral tones are still appropriate. Even colors like red, if they're quite washed out and not too vibrant, then you can mix those up with other neutral tones and you'll get something that complements the other pieces quite well, but doesn't make you stick out in any way. Try and avoid sharp contrasts of color as well. So don't wear very white things next to very dark ones. And it's also worth mentioning that although black is a very non-vibrant color, dressing all in black does give that kind of intentionally anonymous kind of look. So even doing that is not necessarily the most appropriate thing for gray man tech wear. If you do want to wear black, then mix it up a little bit and inject some dark grays or other dark tones in there as well. So there is a little bit of difference between those pieces and you're not looking too much like a ninja. Slimmer, smarter, more refined outfits, which mix neutral tones, but still versatile and can handle all kinds of of conditions whilst not bearing any distinctive markings. That's kind of the thing that you're looking for here. So what kinds of brands and what style of clothing can we look to that's gonna help us achieve exactly that? The first is Arcteryx Valence. It's a very big name. It's one that you may well have heard of before. And when people talk about gray man tech wear, this is often the first brand that they go to for good reason, because it does tick all the boxes. It uses all those neutral tones. Everything is very very sharp, very nicely fitted, but without drawing much attention to itself, and often any Arcteryx branding is totally removed. But because it uses all the same technology as mainline Arcteryx, you'll still find that good outdoor
your performance. The only problem with Arc'teryx Valence though is the price. This stuff is pretty expensive. But luckily there's a whole bunch of other options out there if you do want to pursue this style. A couple of them I've included in videos not too long ago. Cloudburst is one of those examples. And although the stuff that I've covered so far has been quite overt and very distinctive looking, they do also produce some more low key items. They've got some nice pants with magnetic closures on the pockets and they're a nice straight cut and they're pretty minimal looking. They've also got some quite cool shirts as well which have some nice technical properties. In terms of summer gear, you can make a pretty strong argument for Outlier and that's something I talked about in a bit more detail back in that video, but they're using those high performance materials but in a very unassuming way for those very under the radar clothes. Some other cool outerwear brands to consider are Descent and Descent All Terrain and Nanamika as well, which are a Japanese brand who do quite minimal looking, quite clean looking clothing. For backpacks, you'll find that both of those guys do good options, but also look at Porter, who provides some very high quality options, which look very business casual and suitable for pretty much any scenario. Masterpiece and Coat and Seal as well from memory all do some quite minimal looking bags. It's worth having a look around for this kind of style. I appreciate that all of those options are quite premium, but out there, there are definitely some cheaper things which still look pretty plain and hopefully are lacking the branding which is often plastered all over cheaper sportswear brand bags. In my opinion, sneakers are not the most crucial part of a grey man tech wear outfit, but instead you just want something that's going to complement the rest of the outfit. For a smarter look, a very minimalist tennis sneaker like Common Projects, for example, that could go down quite nicely. If you're looking on the more casual side, Norse Projects and Reigns, you could look at some sportswear collab shoes. For example, the Gore-Tex Stan Smiths look like a regular Stan Smith, but have that waterproof functionality. Or things like the Norse Projects Adidas Terex, um, again, just look kind of like a normal trainer, but have a little bit of water resistance and a bit of extra breathability in there as well. Winterized versions of regular sneakers as well aim to do a similar sort of thing, imbuing a normal looking sneaker with some extra grip or some other kind of performance. I think the most challenging thing about getting this look right is finding a jacket or an upper body piece which is sufficiently minimalist, doesn't really have any markings, but then still has very good performance as well. Of course, grey man tech wear is not going to be to everyone's taste. It's a refined style, it's a more mature style, and it's one which relies on being inconspicuous. So if you like big brands or flexing or standing out from the crowd, then this style is definitely not going to be for you. Another potential barrier here is the high prices commonly associated with that big name tech wear gear kind of comes across into the grey man side of things as well and for a lot of people there's going to be a hard decision to make if you're going to spend a lot of money on a jacket do you want a very unique looking ACG or acronym one that is going to make you stand out from the crowd and people are going to recognize and think is really cool or a much more under the radar Arc'teryx Valence or Nanamika one where 99.9% .9 of people are probably not even gonna take a second look at you. I'd also say that the line between effective grey man tech wear and guy out on the street wearing a raincoat is a much more subtle one than in a lot of other styles of tech wear. And for that reason, it might be a little bit more difficult to pull off than those styles. It very much relies on a delicate balance, clothing which is not too tight or too fitted, but not oversized either. Colors which are very plain and very neutral, but not all black or all a single color. And also a lack of branding that would identify the kind of clothing that most people wear, like Nike or the North Face where jackets are concerned. So Grey Man tech wear is for those who like the performance and the contemporary urban style of tech wear, but not so much that over the top tactical kind of thing, which you'd associate as much with a cyberpunk novel as you would with fashion for everyday wearing. Or if you want your wardrobe to be about its utility value and not just its aesthetic or its flex value. And I think within reason, that's a pretty healthy attitude to have. So that is it on an introduction to grey man tech wear and this kind of style. Um, let me know if you enjoyed it and if you've got any other brand recommendations, particularly those more at that mid price kind of level, because a lot of the options that I mentioned here, of course, are quite premium. Those big mainstream brands are often quite expensive. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. And of course, I will be back next week with something else. So until then, I will see you later. 
Shout out to Morgan and Poro Biscuits. You guys related? And shout out to MW, and I think so much black mentioned the same belt as well. But yes, the Arcteryx Conveyor, that is another popular techwear belt. Um, so thanks for reminding me of that one. That's definitely one to look at as well. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you want to catch some more, there's going to be some going up there, of course, as always. And if you want to subscribe, but you haven't done so already, then join us. We're 21k strong nearly, um, and we're on the way up. So hit the little button. It'll be good for you, I promise.